Well, welcome. Um, I'm Cindy Meyer with Tyler Green here. Hold on, I gotta get some water. We actually, funny enough, did this entire workout already, but I forgot to hit go live. So we're about half an hour late. So if you've been sitting there waiting, don't worry, we're not, we're not, we didn't forget. I just didn't press the right button. So I'm happy that you're joining me today. Go ahead and grab a Swiffer, um, a broom, a mop, a stick, or just the floor, any of that will work. Um, thanks for joining us. Again, I had, a, I had my own technical glitch because I just forgot to hit the go live button. And um, so uh, give a, a thumbs up and applause for Tyler because he's going to go through this whole workout again. Um, so thank you for bearing with me on, on that. All right, so like I said, uh, we're going to do some great balance work today. So for those of you who have worked out with me in the past, and love my back, my old balance class that I used to teach for about six or seven years. You're in for a treat, and we're gonna really kick butt today, your glutes. We're gonna strengthen your legs while we're standing and using this fun little Swiffer tool or any kind of um, a stick or something that you can hold on to for your balance. Um, so stick around for a little bit longer after the video. What I'm gonna do is I'll go live again. I'll end this video and then we'll go live again because I'll do some outtakes. Um, where I'm breaking down some of the exercises for Tyler, um, if he can handle it after, the, after this video. Um, or I'm going to break down some of the movements where he might be struggling. He asked if we could do that, so I figured I might as well record that for you guys so you can get some more benefit out of it. All right, so grab your stick for your stick. We're going to place it in front of us here. So from here, bring your shoulder, your wrist up to your shoulder height from here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start moving the arms up and down. Now, I can just do it mindlessly, right? Just like what I'm doing here. And my arms are kind of wonky on this, but it kind of shows where my strength and weakness is. I can just do it mindlessly by moving, which is fine, but I want the biggest bang for the buck, which is what I say all the time. So I'm going to turn around so you can see what I mean. I'm going to hold my, hold this bar, kind of come up and you can point it out. Um, so right now I'm being mindless, and I'm just holding the bar in front of me here. But if I just simply feel like I'm pressing into my hands and pulling my hands like they're playing table work, pulling them away from each other, you can notice that the muscles around my shoulder blade will start to activate. And that's what I'm after. Um, so from here, you better watch out because when you start to balance, I might knock them down. Um, so you want to feel like you're pulling your hands away from each other to activate those shoulder blades. The, not the shoulder blades, but the scapula stabilizers, the muscles around your shoulder blades. So you're going to bring the arms up. We're just going to mobilize the shoulders right now and bring them back down. I'm so glad you guys are here with me today. We've had a lot of great feedback from all of you. Hopefully you're getting some good mobilization, activation. We're getting you up off the couch a little bit, unless you're doing the couch workout that we've had. I think YouTube, we have like 1,500 people have viewed that, that video. So apparently, sitting on the couch or in the chair is something that you guys really like. You can do that again sometime. Arms come up. Now from here, all you're going to do is just bend over to the side and then up. Why am I using a stick today? I'm using it for balance, but also to help increase mobility and guide the position of where your body is going to go. One more here. Very nice. Come up and down. If you wanted to make it more of a challenge, sometimes you can get something that's a little bit heavier, like the swimmer's really lightweight. I like that because I don't want to put too much weight into what I'm doing where it will compromise my form. Bring your bar up and place it then behind your head. So now you're kind of like a scarecrow, right? Um, here. All we're going to do is just mobilize the spine, warming up still. What we're going to do from here is we're going to twist to one side. What I've done with my arms, I'm just locking them in place so that I'm not randomly turning my arms in front of me. Like if I'm turning and going like this, my arm going in front of me makes me feel like I twisted more than I actually did. So by locking the arms in place here, I, I'm forced to mobilize my spine. Now what you'll notice, the difference between me twisting and what Tyler's doing is that when Tyler twists, his hips are turning with him. So what I want you to do here, Tyler, is as your arms up, I want you to turn over towards that side. And as you do that, I want you to counterbalance by turning your hips forward as you're turning. So you want to stabilize your hips in front of you as you turn and just mobilize from your ribcage. So what you're doing is pulling your rib behind you 
as you go. Very nice. Take the bar down. So let's get going with the legs. Who here wants some leg work? I've got some great leg work for you today. All right. So what we're going to do here, stretching out your back a little bit. Yep. All right. So what we're going to do here, there, you know, all the workouts we're doing is, is absolutely infinite what you can do. I'm just giving you a tool that you might have at home that you can do anything that feels good to you. Use it for that. I hope that you're going to learn how to explore how to use different tools to help you stay active um, now and long term in the future. So you don't have to feel so scared to go, I have to work out at a gym. Um, some people don't like to go to the gym. I really don't like going to the gym. I'll do it. But I prefer being more creative because I get bored very easily. Um, so from here, I'm going to just hold this in front of me. And all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to step to the side with one leg. Then I'm going to step to the side with the other leg. So the Swiffer or the bar ends up right down the center of my body. I'm going to take my feet and at my hips, I'm going to turn out slightly. So we're going to do what fitness people might refer to as a wide-legged squat. And all I'm going to do is just drop my weight down to the center a little bit, soften my knees. I don't have to go deep. If I want to go a little bit deeper, I can, but I only want to go down as far as I can keep my heels down for right now. It depends on your flexibility into your hips. All right, now from here, we're really going to activate into the inner thighs by pulling to go up and then bending and softening the knees. So think of it with less effort and a little bit more concentration and control, right? So pull the legs towards each other as you rise and you soften to bend. So the focus is more on the lifting up or the straightening of the leg as, in, as opposed to being about the bending of the knee. Three more. I really like the turned out squats, the wide-legged squats, because it allows me to have a better alignment of where my femur goes in relative to where my weight goes over my knee. So I'm not putting as much weight into my knees. Because some people, when they do squats, they put a lot of weight in their knees. So if you do it turned out, there's less risk of hurting your knee. Good. Two more. And then one more intentionally coming up to feel your inner thighs. Let's do a little bit more inner thigh work. Are you okay with that? Okay. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to do that same bend, but this time we're going to lift and step to the side. You notice how this Swiffer, this is why I like Swiffer, because I can keep the pad of it down. Tyler can clean my floor by pushing it forward and back, but I can keep it down and I can move the bar side to side. All right, so I'm going to now, from this position, bend my knee and come back to the center. Do it to the same side. So I'm going to lift and pull, and then come back down. Lift and pull. So you'll start to feel the work into the glute, into the inner thigh. Come back again, and then out. Try one more, up, and then out. We're going to go the other direction. So lift and pull the leg in, and lower out. If there's a specific area of your body you would like me to focus on in future videos and future workouts, let me know. If there's a fun tool or something that you might have at home that you look at and say some random thing like a pillow like we did or a Swiffer like we're doing now, whatever it might be that you say, you know what, I think a lot of people would have this at home, let me know because I'm looking for some more creative ideas and I would love to do something that you've come up with. Good. Come back to the center. Let's go to the other side again. Let's just do four. And then back down. Let's do three more. Two more here. And then one more. And we'll do four going in the opposite direction again. So down and pull over. Also, stick around after the video. I don't know if I already said this because, like I said, we came on and we did the whole workout, but I forgot to hit go live. So if I already said this, forgive me. If I haven't, then listen up. One more here. Good, other side again, we're gonna do four here. Stick around after because I'm gonna do some outtakes. And I'm gonna do some breaking down of the video of the workout so that Tyler can learn a little bit more detail about what we're doing. One more set on the other side of four. And that's gonna be important for him to be able to progress. And I wanted just a video and record it so that you guys can see it and experience that as well. Good, come back to the center and down. Now, we're going to add one more piece in and then I'll continue my thought. Um, so you have to keep me on track so I remember. Okay. 
where I was. So from here, we're going to step over to the side, but lift this leg up as we go. Let's go back down. Same side again, coming up, and just lift that leg. And down. Two more here, and then we'll switch sides. And then one more here, another side. So if you stick around and you see us doing some of these breakdowns, even if you don't stick around, I'm looking for a creative name or term in which to call us, call what we're doing, to name it so we can create video optics for the other side. So something like body breakdown or movement breakdown, something creative. Now if you come up with a term that's fun and creative that I choose to use, get this, this is what I'm gonna do. I just figured it out. What I'm gonna do is someone uses that term, go to the other side. What I'll do is I will give you 15 minutes of my time through um, a video live with you one-on-one -on -one, in which I break down moves that you might personally be struggling with. Good, come to the center and rest. So if you have those ideas, message them to me, comment below or something like that because I'm looking for some creative energy to help create that term. How are you guys doing? Are you doing okay? I'm a little bit out of breath. All right, so bring your legs back to the center. We're gonna hold this broomstick. Um, I was just thinking of Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. That's a good movie for us to watch right now because it's a long one. You can take like all that for me to watch. It scared me. The monkeys, the flying monkeys scared me when I was growing up. And then the witch, as she was melting, did that freak you out? Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't even know what poppies were until I was older. I was, I was so scared of that term. And then, oh, it's so sad. It's like a, whenever at Memorial Day, you go around and um, the World War II vets are handing the poppies out, I never wanted to take one because I was afraid it was going to make me fall asleep. <laughs> so dumb. All right, anyway. So you're going to stand here. I'm going to do some half raises, warming up and activating these muscles through here. So, and here's the cool thing about half raises. It's not just strengthening and mobilizing this. It's also about the articulation of your foot. And that's really important because what you'll notice is as you get older, your ability to flex your foot is compromised, and that will limit your ability to do other things, including just simply walking. All right, so let's just lift our heels up and lower down. Now, while you're doing it, I can kind of be mindless and just go up and down, but I want the biggest bang for the buck. Like I said, I want to activate my inner thighs. So as I'm doing it, I'm thinking, pull my inner thighs together, even though they're not doing anything, just to create that balance. I'm creating this zipper effect. Coming up and lowering down. I'm gonna to go to the side so you can see what's happening to my heels. I'm lifting and I'm lowering. Now, how much weight do you put in your hands? I tend to use this as a balance tool or leverage. So what I'll do is as I'm coming up, I'll kind of press down into it a little bit to help me feel like I'm ready to push myself like up out of the water if I'm trying to get up out of the water. Good. Try two more here. Lift and lower. I'm not trying to overly tire your calves out and lower down. Now we're going to do a move where I'm going to stand a little bit more crooked so you can see like diagonal. We're going to go back up into that calf raise and then I'm going to bend one knee and drop the other heel down. See how I did that? Now, I, what I'm going to do is go back into that full half raise and then swap the sides. So bend one knee, drop the other heel. Then go through the half raise and then back down again. Lifting. So have the lift as though you're trying to get lighter as you're going up, as opposed to let me press down heavier in my feet. I want as light of weight into my feet, into my legs as I possibly can. Lift by show of thumbs up or hearts. Let me know if you know someone who is a heavy walker, right? So I remember I was living in an apartment and the people upstairs from me were definitely heavy walkers. It felt like there were elephants living up there. But everyone I know that I know a lot of people that are these heavy walkers, you hear them thump up the stairs or when they walk, they're really heavy. We're trying to learn how to be light on our feet. One more. We're going to take the brunt into our core as opposed to down into our feet. Please both feet down. Very nice. Now we're going to go a little bit deeper into more of our balance work and into more of our legs and our glutes a little bit more. All right. So from here, hold the bar in front of you. 
And all you're going to do is do a step back like we've done before, like a lunge. Again, I'm not going deep into that lunge. Why? Because I'm not trying to touch the floor. I'm just stepping back like I'm stepping down off the stairs. Right? I'm just going to step back. If I go back too far, then all my weight goes down into the back leg. I don't want it there. I want it in that front leg here. And then step in. Same leg again. Try about three more. Just stepping back. So what I like, see how this kind of moves with me? What's really cool is that when I step back, I can actually change the position of where the stick is to help me create balance. Good. Switch legs. So step back again with the other side. And then up. And then step back. And then up. There's nothing right or wrong with how you use this. That's the thing. I don't want it to be super confusing. It's just there for you to provide a tool and a place for you to hold on to to get some benefit out of it. Good. And then come back up and rest. Hopefully you're learning that throughout all the series of videos that I'm doing, that it doesn't matter what you're using. It's all about moving your body. All right. So people ask me all the time, what's the best exercise? You guys can comment below what you think your best, the best exercise is, but here's my, here's the way I describe it. It's the exercise that you're going to do. Some people say, well, swimming is the best exercise. I don't like to swim because I really, it's a lot of steps, and I really don't like having my face in the water. It's just from when I was a kid. But swimming is one of the greatest exercises to get your cardiovascular work in. It's low impact. There's, it burns a lot of calories, but is it the best exercise? It's not for me because I'm not going to do it. Um, or I will, but I don't like to. So whatever exercise you'll do is the best exercise for you. Sitting on the couch, if you do a couch potato workout, is a good exercise. But otherwise, it's not. Um, you want to be mobilizing. All right, so let's do a step back again. So we're going to do a step back with one leg and hold here. Now, take your stick. And what you want to do is find a point. You might have to move it around. Clean my pipe. That's some dust on these right there. Tyler, you want to clean them up. Um, take it around. Move it to some place that you feel that might be a nice balance point. I find moving it to the side of my leg that's back tends to create great balance for me. That might be you. You might find, however, putting it somewhere else is better balance. But I tend to find Replacing my foot with the swiffer creates balance because what I want to do is find this point where I can lift my back leg up. And how do I do that without putting my weight in my toes? Is I have to really shift my weight to the back hip from here. Go ahead and get it. Oh, you're pretty solid. That's good. Thanks. Now bend your, <laughs> bend your left knee a little bit more. Very good. Awesome. So you want to find that balance point, and you can have someone come up there, come up to you, and kind of push you over or attempt you. And if you don't fall, then you know you grab the weight properly into that glute. Good. Switch legs. So again, I'm going to move my swiffer over to the other leg to be replacing where my leg is. I'm going to bow forward, bend. I'm going to grab the weight into my glute and find that balance point here. Right. Do I feel weight into my quad? Yeah, but I want to feel more into my glute. Let's see where he goes. Oh, look. He's pretty solid. That's good. And then come back up. What you're going to notice is that over time, you, if you do this maybe, what, five or six times total, your balance is going to improve greatly because your body is going to learn that quickly how not to fall over if I came over and smush you over with a swift. All right, so let's go back to the other leg again. I'm going to move this over here. And I'm going to find this balance point. Now, are you guys ready to work your glutes? Yeah, I am. Are you ready to work your glutes? Okay, so you should be feeling this. I don't want all my weight forward into my toe. I want my weight into my glute here. So I'm going to bow, bend, pull the weight back into my hip here. Then I'm going to take my back leg and lift it higher and lower. So we're going to go full series right here. So we're going to stay on this side. And if you have to take a break, go ahead and do that. Stand up and then just join us back down. Do three more. Lift and lower. Two and lower. One more. Hold right here. Keep that leg at that same height, but just bend your knee in and then straighten it out. Now, if you can, ideally you want your head looking up and not down. This way your neck is in better alignment. 
Tyler, can you push your head back a little bit more? That's better. For those of you who just saw what happened, it looked as though he straightened his spine a little bit. Good, hold here. Now push that leg higher with the knee bent and pull it down and then push it up higher. You should be feeling it here. If you need a break, go ahead and take a break. You feel that? Good. Two more here. Press it up and then down. One more up, down. Now we're going to add into that. Watch this. Or feel this. Press the leg up. Now as you come down, you're going to straighten your standing leg. But now you're going to go back again. Bow, bend, and push that leg up. This is where this stick or the surfer can come into play to help give you that nice point of balance. Two more. And then one more. And place that foot down. Switch sides. I move my surfer to where my balance point is. I'm going to step back, bend my leg, grab my point, inch my glute, find that point of balance, hold, then lift your back leg up and lower it down. And lift. You can. If you don't have like a broom, a mop, or a stick, you can hold on to the back of the couch. I don't recommend holding on to someone else because if I'm wobbly, and someone holds on to me, they become wobbly, or we both become wobbly together and we'll fall down. Good, hold the leg up and hold here. Now bend the knee in, keeping the hip at the same height and the knee at the same height. Straighten it back. If you don't have the ability to do these extra movements, it's okay. Just hold the position and do what you're able to do. Or take a break. It's all okay. Do what your body will allow you to do. By working your glutes, it helps to strengthen those glutes and get, get, get you out of your lower back. Now from here, take that leg and push that hip higher, and then pull it down. Glutes are these matching muscles that once we get them activated, it will help to take away and reduce hip pain, knee pain, ankle pain, low back pain. Not a pain in the neck, though. That's at your shoulder blades. Good, hold here. Now we're gonna pull the leg down and rise up. And then bow, bend, and push that hip and that knee higher. Lift. And then lower. Two more. Up. And lower down. And one more. You gotta lower down. And then come back up and place that foot down from there. Now, take one leg and bring it behind you. We're just stretch real quick. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to flatten my back out, push the bar away as I pull my hips backwards. You'll feel that nice stretch of the back of your leg. And then Which step. Leg? The front leg. Okay. Yep. Because we worked the back line of the body today. Not so much. We did a little bit into the quads, but most of it was adductors and abductors are out here onto the glutes area and then the back side of the body, calves, hamstrings, down the train on the back. We did that yesterday in class two when we did the muscle, the workout on the pillow. Did you guys have the pillow workout yesterday? That was a good one. Good. And then come back in. Thank you guys so very much for joining me. Um, I appreciate it. If you missed any of our workouts this week, they are uploaded on my YouTube channel. Just go in there and search for Cindy Byer. You'll see them. They're popping up. Um, refer your friends over. I would appreciate it. Uh, again, I'm trying to get up to 1,000 subscribers within the first month of April. Uh, while we're all at home, if we can get people to watch, it would be awesome. Um, stick around after this. I'm going to do some outtakes or breaking down a little bit more detail of some of the muscles and the, some of the movements for Tyler here. So I'm going to exit out of this live video. See you next time if you want to find out a little bit more about how to do those movements that we were doing in today's workout, a little bit more detail. We're going to do that probably just after we grab some water now, and then we'll be right back on live for about three or five minutes. All right, take care. Thanks, guys.